Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a question for you. What is your favourite retro game? My favourite retro game is Rayman. The reason why I like this game is because of the graphics. The graphics are appealing to me because I grew up with the game's art style. And I like the music, it's very retro and it's very joyful and moving. I also like it because it's very nostalgic. It was exciting to me as a child when I played it. Still to this day, I love playing it. It's one of my favourite games. That was my question for you gamers. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment on what's your favourite retro game. I am Nicola from the Ready Retro Players. Thank you for watching. Hello fellow gaming minions, welcome back to the Ready Retro Players channel. I'm going to um, give my two cents on what my one of my favourite retro games is, one of, notice one of. And um, that game is definitely Banjo-Kazooie, one of Rareware's finest masterpieces. So Banjo-Kazooie and me have a good history. We I was introduced to Banjo-Kazooie in the mid to late 90s after I got my N64 of course while so playing games like 007 Gold and I Mario Kart 64 and whatnot and Mario 64 which is absolutely brilliant all Korean of time or another golden great game. Um, but Banjo-Kazooie just hits home for me even after all these years of playing all these different video games up to this modern day and age I feel like Banjo-Kazooie just hits home right where the heart is. I mean it's not just nostalgia I'm happy I did grow up with this game I played it during my childhood years but I think this this game was probably one of the reasons why Rareware became one of my most favourite companies of all time back in the 90s. But yeah, so the, the, everything from the story, you know, Banjo trying to save his sister from Gun, Gruntilda the Witch, you know, there was there was that, there was learning your master moveset from bottles. Um, <laughs> it, it was nothing but rhymes in this game. The, the, the quirkiness of sense of humour in this game, you, you've got to love to hate um, Kazooie with her quirks of being rude to other players in the game. Well, not players, but other characters in the game. You know, calling Bottles goggly eyes and goggle boy and whatnot and stuff like that. And being rude at every chance she gets. Um, but Banjo Kazooie, oh, the gameplay alone, the, the music in that game is outstanding. The music, I could listen to that score all day, all day, man. And especially when you, wherever you're going underwater, hearing different um, musical like uh, vibes with it, the way it changes between musical transitions between each world. The part of um, Banjo Kazooie's charm, it's just its sense of humor. I love the uh, the graphics for the game, even after all these years. I played both the N64 and the Xbox. 360 release for it. All right, I believe it was the Xbox Live Arcade or something. I think it was called. And I did notice a few differences. Like for one thing, like uh, when you're in bubble, not bubble group swamp. When you're in um, Mad Monster Mansion and in the N64 version, when you're actually doing that uh, thing with Mode's hand or Mot's hand, whatever his name is, um, you hit down different musical notes on the on the organ. It plays different musical notes on the N64 version but on the Xbox Live Arcade version I feel like it just plays like the same note all the time now I know it sounds I don't really like it but also what Benjo Kazooie has that I really also love is actually a quiz game at the end of the game itself it was absolutely amazing playing that quiz game I just I even died um to permanent uh, not permanently um deliberately to actually play the game again so I could actually quiz myself with a few few more things that I've you know, just question, quizzing you on your adventures in the game, you know, have you seen, do you know where you have been in this picture? Or do you know all of Gruntilda's secrets? I mean, completing the game very recently on one of my streams, of course, when I was streaming on Twitch, and I wrote down every one of Gruntilda's secrets and I got every answer of hers correct when, uh, thanks to Gruntilda, her good old sister. I mean, Banjo-Kazooie is just awe-inspiring, man. I just love that game so much. You know, it's, no other game in history has even come close to even uh, of me actually loving a game so much as much as I love Banjo Kazooie. You know what I mean? I don't think anyone at Rareware is going to see this, or Rare as they call themselves now. Um, but I uh, just want to, they don't have to, but I really want them to know of what of a masterpiece of a video game they've got. And I'm happy that I've reviewed this game as well. I, mean, I wasn't going to make any reviews without reviewing this game, of course. 
But yeah, Banjo Kazooie is head over heels above one of my most favourite video games of all time. Can't praise it enough. I mean, the levels of the levels themselves. You know, I mean, you got uh, the beach level. You've got uh, Mumbo's Mountain. You've got the one that I don't really like that much. The um, Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't really like that one. You've got a Christmas theme level if Freezy's a peak, and you've got a Halloween sort of scary sort of vibe level with Mad Monster Mansion. You've got a desert level with Gobi's Valley. You know, such creativity. That that's what that game especially that for me. Creativity, and I absolutely love the game. I can't get enough of it. So I will be playing that game again sometime. Maybe I'll give it another five more years or so if I wanna if I'm feeling up to it to actually play the game again. So uh, yeah, uh, I am Dr. Virtual from Ready Retro Players. This has been one of my most favourite uh, video games of all time. Thank you very much for listening, fellow gaming minions. Hopefully you have a wonderful day yourselves. And um, I will see you soon on our next video on Ready Retro Players, okay? So thank you very much for being part of the uh, video. Look forward to hearing from you in the comment section below. And uh, may retro gaming live on, and you take care.